Okay, so so there's like two things I wanted to talk about. There is, <laughs> there is like, there are still people at this conference who Could don't you start know. The timer Hi. because he's just ranting now. <laughs> <laughs> who still don't know how to say my name? Oh, I'm sorry. And I'm not actually going to say, but it's right here, so this should be helpful. It's not helping me. <laughs> it should. Like, it's obvious, right? It's totally it, obvious. You, you, it. you cannot yeah. read the phonetic alphabet. I'm well, good. Uh, all right. So uh, this is what I'm actually going to talk about. It's Mihao, obviously. Like, <laughs> it, it's there. It's. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Here. <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> you only have four minutes left. That's. <laughs> That's not how the phonetic alphabet works. Okay, uh, this is this is a thing I did for work, uh, and it's basically the first time I'm actually showing something ever I did at work. So basically, we had this problem where we had a project that takes like literal ages to compile, and we wanted to know the hotspots for for the compilation times in that. So I wrote this, and. Uh, this is the view for a directory. So you can see some statistics about what's what's going on inside that directory, like the average compilation times of various categories, uh, the total compilation time, and some maximum values, and so on. Uh, let's not go down there yet. Uh, there's the subdirectories with some useful statistics like uh, you can like average average time it it took to compile a file in that directory. You can sort by that. This is by the way LLVM with Clank. So uh, we can see that lib uh, target actually is the thing that takes most time uh, during the compilation. So uh, when you when you look at the file. You can see the include files, so you can actually try to decide which include file they, like impacts your build the most. Uh, this, of course, is an approximation. Uh, if you want to know how I approximate that, come after the talk. Uh, there's also this that's not going to be very helpful to anyone. Uh, like it's what GCC spews out when you uh, call it with uh, f-time report. Uh, sometimes it hel it's helpful, and most of the time it just confuses people. Uh, so there is also this, like most impactful headers, uh, you know, by looking just at the files in the current directory and its subdirectories. Uh, and again, this is an approximation. I basically uh, multiply the uh, estimated impact by the number of files that include it, di directly or, or indirectly. And there is also this beautiful thing. Uh, you can see all the incomplete headers, uh, that is, the headers that do not compile by themselves. Uh, so uh, this is not actually open source yet, like the tool that generates this. Uh, yeah, after the conference, I'm going to work on actually going through the process of open sourcing it at work. Uh, if you if you want to like notice when it shows up, it should show up here on GitHub uh, Nokia Wrocław. So W R O C L A W. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it's pronounced Wrocław. Uh, Chandler can uh, teach you that yeah. later. Uh, and so it should show up here, and I'm probably going to give a shout out on Twitter. Uh, so if you have like some ideas for what statistics could be useful here, or have some similar experience by trying to like lower the compilation times of your projects and you know what's a useful metric here, uh, I'd very much like to hear your opinions on what else should be shown here. Is that a clean build or a rebuild? Uh, it's a clean build, yeah. Have you, have you tried the Unity build? Putting everything in one <laughs> uh, That's going to explode our uh, compile, compilation servers mm -hmm. on our projects. Mm -hmm. We have like some, some files that uh, need like eight, megabyte, uh, eight gigabytes of memory to compile. So, no. All right, that's it. <laughs>